Welcome to Honda SUV. This is a product called Loctite Plastic Epoxy, made for any type of plastics. You have about seven minutes to work with the product until it cures. That means it doesn't cure in seven minutes. You have seven minutes until it really gets soft. What I have done to make the epoxy stuff, I have taken the lens cap off and I put the tape behind it. Then I place the epoxy after two minutes to make sure it's a little bit harder than to be running. After this is dried, a little sticky, I've now taken a magic marker and I've gone over the epoxy. I'll come back again with sandpaper when this dries so I can get a smooth finish. That will be shown to you at another time. So this will cure in a roughly around 20 minutes to one day. You have yourself a fixed tail. At your local hardware store like Home Depot for $4.99, a Loctite plastic epoxy 7 minutes, red sharpie magic marker at staples, matches the color correctly. Tape and plastic utensils you may have at your house. By cutting the tape, fitting it in the hole, going through the socket with the bendable item and pressing the tape around the edges so there are no holes. We're going to mix the mixture, the epoxy and the resin. If you have dye, you can add it in there. The red magic marker can be added later, as long as the resin gets hard like a juju bead later on. As I show you the mixture of the epoxy, there are no air bubbles. It is a little bit thicker than uh, syrup, and we're ready to use it. It takes me about five minutes to add everything on there and the way I like it. I want to not have any spider webs because this will go all over the lens and you can use a acetone to clean it. Try not to get it on your hands. Even though my hands are dirty at the moment, I am set. As I place it in, I spread it around and make sure I overlap the edges. I'm not afraid to overlap it because I'm going to sand this after I'm finished and the next day when it's cured. Take your time when working and never rush. If you're uncertain on how to do this, practice. Use something else to see how it's going to work before you start a project. Practice makes perfect. I am almost finished filling in the holes as you can see. This will cure for about 15 minutes. Again like a juju bead. A little bit tacky. I'm going to take now a magic marker, the Sharpie, the red one, and I'm going to add it to the epoxy. As you can see there's the color. See how it evenly matches the uh, reflector? The next step to do will be to sand. And we're going to have to wait until tomorrow. There is the coloring. Finishing up the project would be using the sandpaper and the magic box. You take the sandpaper and go over the tail line. Get the correct smoothness, finish up with the magic marker. If you feel that you need to sand more, continue sanding and then remark. You may want to get another marker in due time as it will dry out. So let's get started.
Now that we've finished up using the Loctite plastic epoxy 7 minute sandpaper and marker, we have a tail light protected. We do thank you for joining us and have a nice day.